everyone, so today's video is going to be another tea update. So I am finally at four months on tea, which once again that went by really fast. I know I said that at three months, but like, wow that just zoomed by. <laughs> so I'm going to update you on how everything is going. I've definitely been seeing some more progress on everything. Also yes, I am holding a little turtle. Um, <laughs> just in case you're wondering what that is in my hand. Okay, anyway, so on to the update. Um, so I am still on the one pump of testo gel. I know I keep kind of like flip-flopping about deciding whether to like up my dosage or not. I'm like really bad at making decisions so I'll probably keep flip-flopping a bit more until I finally decide on something. Anyway, so I think I'm going to start again by talking about body hair first and definitely updating you on my moustache because I just love, I love these moustache updates honestly, it's like <laughs> the best. So I definitely think that it has gotten like darker and a bit thicker again and I think some of the hairs are like longer as well. I know in my last update one of you said that it did look like there were more hairs growing there in general and I definitely think that I agree with that. Sometimes like every day my moustache looks a little bit different so I'm gonna get up close again to show you how it's looking. Anyway, so next, um, once again, I'm going to talk about peach fuzz. It's still increasing a lot, again, especially like kind of here in like the sideburns area is where I get the most peach fuzz. And honestly, at this point, I'm really starting to feel like a flocked so soft My Little Pony. If you know Cherry's Jubilee, the flocked version, that is what I am starting to feel like right now. I mean, it's kind of cool um, and it is starting to darken more as well, which is good. I've also been noticing that it's darkening again like on my neck more and my chin and again like around here. Definitely a little darker again compared to last month and I was like really surprised by how quickly my neck fluff has been darkening as well. It's like I looked away for a moment and I looked back and it's darker, that's how it feels. So something new is that I think that my hands and my arms are getting hairier or at least like the hair that is already there is getting darker. I'll try and show you, I don't know how well you can see it yet, but um, on my hands, specifically like here, it seems to be starting to get a little darker. I don't know if that's focusing. You go. I really don't think that you can see it yet though, but I notice it when I look at my hands and also my wrists as well. Like. I don't know, the hair on my wrist seems kind of darker too, or like thicker or something. Um, I don't know. I feel like my arms in general, wait, let me just... <laughs> I swear like it's, the hair is like a little thicker, and some of them are definitely darker and longer. Like there's some that I keep seeing that I think are like cat fur because I have a black cat and his hair is like pretty long. And I keep thinking that his hair is stuck to my arm and I try to like pull it off and it's my own hair. Just um, a quick trigger warning before I show you my arm. I do have like really old, like decade old SH scars. So if that's something that might trigger you, just letting you know in advance, um, totally understand if you have to skip this bit. So like kind of along here, it seems like the hair is starting to get darker and it's like making its way down kind of thing. Um, I don't know, I just swear it's like a bit darker on the inside or something. And this is like the most awkward position ever, but... <laughs> and I don't know if you can even see that. I'll try to include close-ups of what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's been really cool. I've been waiting for like some arm hair progress and some hand hair, so... Yeah, I'm like pretty pleased with all of that. And yeah, just looking at it now, it definitely looks darker to me. And then of course there's my snail trail, so that has definitely again gotten more fluffy and darker and everything, which has been really cool. And it's definitely more noticeable now when you look at it from a distance instead of me just like looking down and seeing it, like I'm starting to see it about a metre away <laughs> from the mirror, I want to say. I think like my moustache and my snail trail are my favourite things so far. <laughs> Could be wrong, but I think some of my leg hair is starting to darken too, like especially on my thighs. There's still some areas on my legs where I'm waiting for hair to start 
growing that I don't think it has yet. So it still looks kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if I'll show you like leg hair or not. It feels a bit weird for some reason. Maybe I will. I just think like my thigh hair looks less golden than it did pre-tea. It's looking a lot darker. But it's just weird that no new hair seems to be growing there. It's only darkening. Yeah, I don't know, but I know there's still like a lot of time for all of that to happen. Next, I'm going to talk about my voice. I could be wrong, but I think maybe my voice has dropped like the tiniest, tiniest little fraction. But it can be kind of hard to tell, and I can't remember if I've talked about this before or not, but I swear like I kind of tend to speak in slightly different pitches depending on who I'm talking to, which isn't something that I mean to do, it just kind of happens, and I've kind of like always done that, so that kind of makes it like a bit hard to tell. If you've seen my older updates, like my first one month on tea update, and even then my voice was starting to like do some weird stuff, and I was talking about how like a lot of the time in the mornings my voice sounded a tiny bit more gravelly and stuff. I feel like it's that same gravelly edge that is starting to come into my voice and it's it's not that it's there all the time yet but it's there a lot more than what it was like one month on tea and I'm definitely noticing it more. But having said that my voice still outs me every time. I am still like being read as male more often in like public situations. Um, like if a stranger talks to me or something they immediately assume that I'm male which is really nice but then I open my mouth and they're like oh my gosh I'm so sorry I see now that you're a girl and <laughs> all of that which is just so incredibly awkward because then like they they spend ages trying to like apologize it's just it's awkward so I'm looking forward to my voice no longer outing me that'll be like really fucking nice yeah but that's that's the status of things with my voice right now I have noticed I've been getting like the morning and night time graveliness again because that did go away and it was last month I wasn't really experiencing that so much anymore but that's definitely been coming back again which is nice because when it went away I was like did I just imagine all of that like was that a placebo effect but I don't I don't think so I think that was a thing I don't know it gets really confusing when things come and go I don't know if this should really go under like the voice category but again I don't know like where else to put it but I did have another tea cold which I think went for like I think it was two days and I didn't have a sore throat that time which was weird. I like just had a really stuffy head like just stuffy I was like really snotty and feeling really sick but I didn't have a sore throat so I don't know I don't know I think that's just like the post nasal drip thing that comes along with HRT sometimes but I thought I'd mention it anyway just in case. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about skin. I remember last month I was saying how I think the acne was like getting a bit better. It had like cleared up quite a lot on its own and you know everything was fine but I do think that's definitely coming back again and I'm trying to figure out if maybe it's connected to my cycles because I'm still getting my cycle which really sucks. Like pre-tea like a week before my cycle I'd get like lots of breakouts and that hasn't been happening anymore. Instead I've been getting breakouts after my cycle so I'm wondering like if it's that's like the pattern of it that's going on. I don't know it's weird. But yeah, I'm still not really getting that many spots on my face, like I still definitely get them here and there, but it's still, it's still mostly like on my shoulders and my back and like along my collarbones kind of. I do think I am also getting more spots like on my lower back, because last time I was saying how they were kind of starting to creep down a little bit lower my, like lower down my back, and that's started happening. A lot more like that's increased. I always say this but it still feels tolerable at this point which is good. I think my skin might be starting to get a little more oily just a little bit like mainly my face. I'd touch my face and I'd see like this oil on my hands and it was like really thick and shiny which is like kind of gross. Like, I just feel like that's TMI me explaining that to you but yeah I think it's starting to get a little oily but still like not not too bad and it's only sometimes that I've had to kind of like give it a wipe. <laughs> Once again I'm letting you know because that'll probably be something that comes up again more often in the future. I don't know if this really goes under skin but I'm putting it here anyway. The veins in like my hands and my arms are like popping out more. Um, It's a bit of a weird thing. I know that is something that can happen with tea so I think that's maybe what's starting to happen. It's like not too bad at the moment but it's like no, you see this vein here and then there's one like here and it's, it's okay at the moment actually which is good but it like 
pops right out and it's like kind of gross and squishy. I know some people really like veiny arms but for me it's like a weird sensory thing where I really hate like the squish of it. It feels disgusting to me. So I'm really like not looking forward to having squishy veins sticking out like I don't know just from a sensory perspective yeah but it's not like that all the time it's just that it happens more easily now like you know how usually it just happens when you're feeling really hot I feel like that's kind of happening even if I just feel kind of warm you know it's kind of hard to explain but yeah I just think I just think my veins are popping out more and it's like it's kind of gross <laughs> saying that with like all this dead stuff behind me and being really interested in anatomy but I can't handle a vein popping out that's too much for me <laughs> I guess along those same lines I also want to just quickly touch on like my body temperature because I do think that that has gone up as well which definitely explains why like for a while I kept waking up in the night feeling like really hot apparently that's kind of Thing with this. I definitely feel like I'm not cold as often and my body temperature is like just naturally a bit higher than it used to be. The baseline is kind of hotter than what it was because I used to be like cold all the time even if everyone else was hot I was cold and now it's like I'm the one who's always hot and everyone else is cold it's like really weird. And also to go along with that I definitely think that I'm still sweating more. It's like the thing with the veins it just like seems to happen more easily like more things just set off sweating it happens faster I kind of hate that too <laughs> I don't know just all the sensory things really bother me now I'm gonna talk about sleep so I don't think that I'm snoring so much anymore unless it's just that like I'm not noticing it the way that I did it first because when it first started happening um, I would wake up from it because like the noise would startle me and I'd be like who's making that noise and I'd realize it was me but I, I haven't been getting that as much anymore so either I'm not snoring as often or I am snoring but now I'm used to the sound I don't know I guess that's a good thing because that's the thing I was worried about was like I'd just be waking myself up forever every night but <laughs> that's not happening anymore which is good the insomnia is still pretty shitty though I've not been having a great time with that but that's just me like I've always struggled with that stuff I guess I'm just kind of annoyed about it because my sleep was really good for like the first month or so on tea and now it's kind of gone back to how it was and it just kind of sucks and I'm also still remembering my dreams again so yeah I kind of have mixed feelings about that because um I don't always want to remember them but oh well <laughs> just gonna give you a few other little tidbits that don't really fit in like any other categories. First thing that has only started happening like the past four days I want to say, I've been getting growing pains again. It's the weirdest thing honestly because when I first started feeling it I was like wow I haven't felt this since I was a kid what is this and then I realized like hang on that feels like growing pains. Obviously I know that I'm not going to grow any taller like I'm 28 and my growing is done but apparently when you're on tea if you're like growing muscles and stuff especially in your legs you can still get growing pains from it so I think maybe that's what's happening I don't think that I've been feeling it anywhere else like maybe a little tiny bit in my arms but definitely mostly my legs and it's been like really painful some days like if I do a lot of walking one day the, the growing pains when I'm done with all that walking is so intense which is how it was when I was younger as well and having them and like still growing the pain was like so much I don't know maybe I'm like a bit sensitive it kind of sucks I wasn't expecting this I didn't know that you could get growing pains from hormones so that's a bit shit but that's all right it's still worth it and yeah, it happens so I meant to actually include this in the last update but um, when I had my blood test, my T levels were 5.93. So that's almost in the male range, apparently. So I'm pretty happy with that. I kind of like that it's like my T levels are above like the female range and almost at the male range. It feels androgynous, which is like such a weird thing to say. Like the T levels in your blood can like feel a certain way. But like, I just felt really affirmed by that. So I guess I'll probably keep you updated on T levels in my blood as time goes on. I'm not due for another blood test for quite a while. I think, I don't know. I think I'm next having a blood test in a couple months. I'll have to check. So I don't know. I thought I'd let you know that little tidbit. I kind of put that in there for myself as well more than anything. So that's how my four months on T is going. I know I said this last time but I just want to say it again that I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading as often lately. I'm 
still having a lot of trouble with migraines and stuff and just haven't been feeling great still but I'm gonna really I'm gonna try and like get things going again because I really miss hanging out with you guys and chatting and stuff so I will try to make something work I don't know I just really need to upload more often anyway thank you for sitting through all of this and being so patient with me and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time